Formula One Outboard Racing Championship is underway. These fiberglass bullets blaze across the water at speeds topping 150 miles per hour. Bill Siebold has been racing for more than 40 years. It's really more an airplane. You're trying to fly just above the water than it is a boat. They'll outturn any racing vehicle in the world, period. But today, he's here to watch his sons, Mike, in boat number seven, and Tim, in boat 38, battle for the checkered flag. Tim takes to the water first in a qualifying heat against fellow competitor Mark Miller. Tim speeds along the outside as they head into a turn, but suddenly he loses control. Watch as Tim's boat collides with Miller's, launching him into a deadly mid-air somersault. Tim's protective canopy disintegrates. Now his head and neck are dangerously exposed as he soars into the trees. Cameraman Tom Stone narrowly escaped death as the boat flies just a few feet from his head. If that boat would have been about six foot to the left and about three foot lower, two foot lower, I had no time to get away. It would have taken me out. Tom puts down his camera and rushes into the trees to search for any sign of life. Honestly, you know, I thought I was going to go back there and see him just smashed in the cockpit. But seconds later, a miraculous sight. Okay, Incredibly, Tim walks away from the violent crash, unharmed. I bruised my right shin from kicking the steering shaft. That was it. I just, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I was just so happy to see him. I really, like I said, my heart was in my mouth because I just knew it was going to be a serious accident. Tim recalls the brutal collision that nearly cost him his life. We were either going to hit land or we were going to hit each other. We ended up hitting each other. My boat became airborne, backflip. When it did, I was there for the ride. Although Tim was lucky to walk away, Bill says his son wasn't about to give up the sport he loved. I said, thank God you're okay, you know, and, and all he was worried about is, uh, can we get the backup boat ready? <laughs> Amazingly, Tim went on to race again the very next day, winning the championship. A victory made sweeter by the terrifying reminder of what could have been.